Hey guys, Gary from DIY Electronics. I got another episode of the ESP32, um, primarily about the Nerd Miner version 2 software that is on the ESP32. Actually, it could be any anyone, but any you know any one of the miners that you can put on there. But primarily, it's the Nerd Miner because that's what everybody uses. But the, what the questions I'm getting from my subscribers are is how they change the information in the ESP32 after they initially, you know, hit that save button and then the access point just disappears and you never get it back. And they need to know how to get that access point back so they can go in and manipulate the configuration files inside. So say that they change their Wi-Fi or they change their um, Bitcoin address or they want to change pools or want to change passwords or worker names or anything like that. They want to know how to get back into it because as you guys know, that's why you're watching this video, is once you hit that save button on the initial <clears throat> configuration, that access point disappears and you there's nowhere to find it. Unless you know how to manipulate the board to get it to, you know, repopulate that uh, access point so you can get in there and change the files. And that's what I'm going to concentrate this video on is how to do that. I have it on my other videos, but it's embedded in there somewhere. You got to go searching for it. So I'm making this video strictly for manipulating the uh, configuration file after the fact okay again like I said if you want to change any of the information what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause you and I'm going to put you down here onto my workbench and I'm going to have video of the actual uh, ESP32 mining I'll show you where it's mining right now and uh, it's got a worker name on it and what I want to do is I want to change the worker name alright so that's the scenario I'm setting up I'm out on a pool called uh, RW information I am mining right now cheetah coins um, cheetah coin, yeah, it's 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 a funny little coin, but um, it's uh, really easy to mine with a ESP32. And for some reason, if somebody out there uh, knows anything about uh, Bowserland uh, DDNS, the site was taken down. I don't know why. Anybody know why that site was taken down? Um, there was two actual pools that were taken down. Um, off of the cheetah coin, but anyways with that with, without further ado I'm gonna put you on pause put you down here on the bench. Hang on Okay guys here we are so you see the uh, ESP 32 down here on your left hand Left hand side I believe so and here is my worker DIY one Okay, now that is the worker name. I want to change. I want to change it to DIY two All right so right now it's out mining, uh, it's mining chata. I call it cheetah coin chata. I don't know why, but that looks like chata if there was an A in there. Um, Nerd miner on version 1.8.3. Um, my worker name DIY1, so on and so forth. And here's my my uh, uh, coin address. Okay, everything's in here. So now. This what is what you got to do if you want to change any information in your ESP32. Now look over here in the screen. Um, there's two buttons on these. Now this most all 832. I mean ESP32s are the same. They got two buttons on them. One is for bootloader and one is the boot button. Now the bootloader one is it'll be marked either RST reset or en for just the, the everyday normal nerd miner version 2 user do not touch the reset uh, en or rst button it will be marked most likely en or uh, rst do not touch that button because that puts the uh, miner into bootloader mode and also when you do that it wipes out the chip it wipes the flash completely out all right so do not touch the reset or EN button. The one you want to concentrate on is this boot button over here on the other side. What we're going to do to get this to output its uh, AP um, access point again, press and hold the boot button for 15 seconds. Don't be looking at any lights. Don't be, and if you're doing this on one of those crappy yellow boards, don't pay attention to any of the lights or what the LCD screen's doing. Make sure you press and hold 
the boot button for 15 seconds. Again, do not touch the reset button. That's for professionals. I don't even touch that button. Okay, here we go. Boot button, 15 seconds. And matter of fact, over here, look on the screen over here, guys. I'm going to open up my Wi-Fi, and you'll see the um, Nerd Miner show up here. So I'm going to go back here to the, the uh, camera and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and one to grow on. And let it go. Now, let's watch over here on the Wi Fi and watch the Nerd Miner show up. Um, the Nerd Miner access point is what we're looking for. Do, 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 do. Again, guys, we're going to go in and we're going to change the worker name to DIY2. We're just waiting for the access point to show up. Oh, excuse me. And there it is. It just showed up. So now you can click on it. Click connect. Now wait. And an MSN window will show up. Then you put in 192.168.4.1. That IP address is the same for everybody when, it, when you come dealing with the uh, nerd miner is 192.168.4.1 okay that's the same for everybody so I'll click on Wi-Fi manager and here it is configure Wi-Fi shows up so click on it and if you notice after you hit that reset button I'm not reset button I don't want to say that not reset your boot button not the reset um, and you get in here all of your information is gone all right, so make sure you have all your information handy um, when you redo this. So I'm going to use Netgear again. I got to put in my secret password. Did I put that in right? Silky Ocean 658. Yep. That's secret, guys. Don't tell anybody. Um, this is the pool I'm using. This is just some snippets of it so that I can put it in here. Pool URL right there. Put in uh, the port 77. And as you can see, guys, right here, look at that. The pool password is now open. Congratulations to me. Uh, I am the one that found the problem in the software. And I opened it up. And that now, now you'll see my bin files floating around the internet and uh, YouTube and whatnot that the guys are giving this uh, pool this new bin file away that has the open pool password on it okay now what I need for a password is I'm gonna be mining Chata so I need this right here C equals Chata or Cheetah coin I just copy that and I'm gonna put that right into the pool all right, and I'm going to get my crypto currency wallet numbers for Cheetah. And I'm going to put that right in here. And this is where I put in the worker name. I'm going to put dot DIY underscore two. I'll make it 22. No, 23. DIY 23. All right, and then we're going to go over here, and we're going to hit save. Now, we just go out on the internet, and let's see, we're on the wallet. Huh, the worker's already gone. That DIY uh, one is gone. Let's see if 23 shows up. There it is. There we go, guys. DIY23 has now shown up on the pool. And that is the end of the lesson. Okay, I'm going to come back and talk my way out. I'm actually going to... Alright guys, that is the long and short of it. That is how you 
uh, reopen the access point after the fact because I know a lot of guys out there they got scared where as soon as they hit that save button they look over and boom the access point's gone they can never get back into it again and this is how you do it okay um, I can't stress enough in this video do not do not do not touch the reset button or the button that's marked EN or it could say RST do not touch that button okay I don't want to be blamed for wiping out the flash on somebody's setup okay because I told you and if you don't know which button it is research it okay um, don't blame me if you hit that reset button for 15 seconds and wipe out your flash when I told you not to okay and and again it's most generally on these ESP 32s it'll be marked right on there I don't know if I can get you guys close and personal to that EN button or EN anyways it says EN right at the top of it or it'll say RST or it'll say reset and the one you want to manipulate is the one that says boot all right I think I covered everything um like subscribe leave me a comment down below buy me a coffee look at it it's freaking empty I need more coffee buy me a coffee I got some merchandise down in my store also um, it's not much um, a couple of nerd miners and whatnot uh, but it's there and also you can leave me a coffee all right guys thanks for watching ring the bell subscribe and all the other things you do on YouTube See you on the